Hello, my name is Eun Saem. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to teach you another adjective claw. But this adjective claw is really different from the previous one. Do you know what it is? Anyway, do you understand clearly about relative pronoun as a object of preposition? For example, when relative pronoun as a object of preposition and preposition is put in front of relative pronoun, which relative pronoun is used for a person or people, which relative pronoun is used for a thing. Do you remember that? Well, a uh, preposition come before relative pronoun. For people, we use whom only. And thing, we use which only. So only two relative pronoun are used for adjective clause where preposition come before relative pronouns. Today, I'm going to teach you relative pronoun in phrases of quantity. Or have you ever known about this kind of adjective class? Okay, now let's go with me. Adjective clauses or relative clauses. Relative pronouns in phrases of quantity. Yeah. A relative pronoun can occur in phrases of quantity. Yeah, sure. What are they? They are some of which, not only some of which, but some of whom. One of whom, also one of which, all of whom, can be all of which, each of which, also each of whom etc well um so you you can see all this one relative pronoun which whom are object of preposition of so earlier i talk about the object of preposition when preposition come before relative pronoun for thing we you only which for people we you only whom like this so it can be some of which for thing, some of whom for people, one of whom for people, one of which for thing, all of whom for people, all of which for thing, each of which for thing, each of whom for people, etc. It it has more than this, but uh, these are only example. Look at the example of adjective clause. Uh, basically, adjective clause come from two simple sentences combined into one complex sentence. Look at that. I saw tropical fish. I photographed many of them. So you can see the first sentence, the first simple sentence, tropical fish, and the second sentence, many of them. Many of them refer to tropical fish. So the same thing. That's why we can write. Um, adjective claw. One more thing that you have to remember is that in adjective clause, uh, relative pronoun in phrases or quantity, they are always non restrictive. In this sense, it means that only clause with comma refer to non defining relative clause or non restrictive relative clause, only not de defining relative clauses or restrictive relative clause at all so only none so all uh, comma is you in such adjective clause okay look at the example i saw tropical fish many of which so fish uh, refer to things it is not a person that's why we use which many of which i photograph so from many of which to photograph is adjective adjective clause modified tropical fish the question is, uh, what function of phrases of quality in this uh, adjective clause? So many of which function. After many of which, you can see I. I is the subject of verb photograph. So uh, how about the simple sentence? Many of them. So many of which come from many of them. And many of them is the object of photograph. 
That's why many of we here also object of photograph. It function is of object. I is the subject. The second example, thousands of students visited Cambodia last week. Yeah. One more simple sentence, some of them come from Africa. Some of them and thousands of students, same thing, that's why we can use uh, uh, thousands of students as an antecedent noun and visited Cambodia last week. We take it out, yeah, we, we take it out and then we insert this by some of whom. Yes, some of whom, them change to whom, some of whom come from Africa, visited Cambodia last week. So, adjective clause from some of whom, yeah, like this, adjective, adjective clause modify to student. The function, how about the function of this clarity expression of some of whom, the, the first sentence, some of them is the subject of verb come so this one uh, replaces some of whom replaces some of them that's why it also a subject of this adjective clause uh, because after it we can see the verb come and the root of the sentence is also uh, the subject uh, visited Cambodia last week but, uh, according to the uh, two example we can come up with uh, it form but it form uh, is divided into two sections. One is the subject and the other is object. Uh, the first uh, example here refers to object of verb. And the second example refers to subject of verb. That's why we can say uh, subject uh, of verb. We have some of which or some of whom. Some of which for, for things, some of whom for people many of which for things, many of whom for people and we have more so blah 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 etc plus verb after it is a verb that's, that's why it de function as a sub subject and blah 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 how about object object when you talk about object we have to think of two one object of verb and uh, the other one is the object of preposition Object we can write like this, some of which are, are for things, some are home for people, many of which for things, many are home for people, blah blah blah, etc. Plus subject, after this is a subject, so uh, subject and verb, that's why it is of object verb here, it can be transitive verb and verb plus preposition. Again, uh, relative pronoun in phrases or quantity, we have to think of some phrases like uh, 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 phrases of quality, such as some of which for things, some of whom for people, one of whom for people, one of which for things, all of whom for people, all of which for things, each of which for things, each of whom for people, etc. Uh, these phrases can be used in relative adjective or in adjective clause. Uh, these phrases uh, have two functions. One, it can be object of verb or prepositions, and the other can be subject of, of verb. And then we can write or we can make it formula like this some of which for things, some of whom for people. Uh, many of which for things, many of whom for people, etc. Plus verb. After these phrases, plus verb, they are subject. But if you can see some of which, some of whom, many of which, many of whom, etc. Plus subject. After the uh, plus subject and verb, verb either verb transitive verb or verb prepositions they are object okay does it make sense everyone after my explanation here if you do not understand any point please write your question i'll answer all those questions well this come to the end of my presentation uh, thank you very much for watching my video but don't forget to watch it every day one video come out a day when you miss one video you find it difficult to understand my grammar lesson.
because everything is made in order. Okay, uh, see you later. Bye bye.